Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run for the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days because so we are going to see some showers and some thunderstorms around but generally it's actually going to be pretty warm as we do start to see some warmer air masses wafting up from the south. Precipitation will be more prevalent further northwards closer to lower pressure and it will be drier further southwards closer to higher pressure. This sort of west to southwesterly wind is likely to persist over the last week or so of July, even into early August. And although that doesn't sound like a very warm di air direction, the jet stream is slightly further northwards than it was for much of June and early July. And that means that whenever we see warmer sectors moving through, that is where we could see spike in temperatures. Of course, it is the hottest time of the year for the UK right now. Uh, the air masses to our south are at their warmest. The sun strength uh, is also very strong and that means whenever we see above average temperatures or even significantly above average temperatures those temperatures will skyrocket at the surface and that is what we're seeing from a lot of runs today not persistent heat nothing sort of heat wave like where we see high pressures stuck over the top of us for days and days on end but instead more transient areas of high pressure transient areas of very warm air that could give periods of very hot conditions over the next couple of weeks so we could be looking at more heat spikes similar to what we saw last week we saw a couple of days of very hot conditions for a cool down once again so do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link is in the description now if you start on live, live radar you can see it is kind of an exemplar of that pattern at the moment west is in the north we've got some showers and some thunderstorms breaking out still some dry conditions mixed in there but there's a much larger prevalent of showers further southwards much drier a few spotted showers around but generally nothing too bad if you do look at the temperatures you can see that it is warmest further southwards and eastwards so those temperatures are around average or above average for the time of year and i'm calling this around 8 p.m and it's still around 20 degrees and fairly muggy here further northwards it is a little bit cooler but still pretty decent now if we do look at the latest ukv if we do start on the precipitation over the next five days you can see through the rest of this evening those showers do slowly clear eastwards by tomorrow afternoon it's another very dry day with a few odd showers breaking out so widely dry tomorrow and those temperatures will respond if you look at wednesday a bit more cloud moving in and maybe a few more heavy thundery showers but actually another very warm day with another muggy air mass in place could see temperatures into the mid to high 20s here into thursday it's another very warm day but we start to see more widespread heavy showers and thunderstorms breaking out especially across the north of scotland and across southern and eastern england so kind of the two extremities of the british isles seeing outbreaks of heavy showers and storms that's because instability moves in within that very warm air if you do avoid that very uh, thundery pattern then you could actually remain very warm through thursday we'll have to wait and see though the exact specifics for that later this week into friday again a few showers around but nothing too crazy and you can see as we slowly head into saturday similar pattern again showers around but generally sunny and relatively warm if you look at the up prayer temperatures you can see at the moment is generally around average or slightly above average in the south more towards average in the north and you can see it kind of oscillates up and down some warmer air masses moving in at times you can see this wednesday into thursday a very warm air mass moves in for a time fresher conditions for a time and then the warm air likely will turn again for the weekend so you can see very much up and down but more above average uh, than below average that is in big contrary uh, big contrast sorry towards the first part of july where it was more below average than above average as we had a very chilly start to july but this could just counteract that and we could be treading more towards an average july instead of significantly below average like we had a week or so ago may still was touched below averages again these aren't insane temperatures but we'll have to wait and see in the next couple of weeks if you do look at the max temperatures you can see through this afternoon temperatures peaking around the mid-20s once again as we head into tuesday similar conditions but not quite as high but still 21 to 23 as we head into wednesday another day that's very warm 24 to 26 pretty widely and then into thursday similar conditions 23 24 25 but again thunderstorms around which could hold those temperatures down where those do occur 
into Friday, temperatures slightly cooler, but still 22, 23, 24, and the same can be said for Saturday. Or again, 22 or 23 looks like the top temperature. So generally average to above average over the next five days. Nothing insane, but it is changeable. Some days a bit more uh, than average, around that's a 26, 27 degree mark. Other days only the low 20s. But generally much better than it was for the first half of July. Much more summer-like. And there is the risk, as I said, of more spikes of heat in the coming days and coming weeks. If you have a look at the latest GFS, uh, have a look at the latest upper temperatures, and that's the big thing. The wind is coming in from the west over the next couple of weeks. That is looking highly likely, but it's the air masses that get wafted up. And you can see generally warm air is to our south, and that pushes in for Wednesday and Thursday. You can see it's no massive heat wave, but it's just a warm sector wafting up from the south that is giving those very warm or hot conditions for a time later this week. But it's nothing insane. Fresh air comes in for a time, and then it's the weekend. We could see warmer air return again into the start of next week. And then as we head into the sort of early part of August, even warmer upper air temperatures waffling. The 15 degree ice firm gets in, that could deliver 30 degrees. And you can see that beyond that, we do again see oscillations between average and above average air masses all the way to 384 hours. We'll have to wait and see exactly how it does play out. But for the time being, it does look like that it is going to be very up and down, pretty warm at times, which as I said is a big, big positive. Now if you have a look at the latest GM, uh, you can see generally, again if we put those upper air temperatures, slightly above average over the coming days, significantly above average for a time later this week, up towards the low teens for the upper air temperatures, and then we do see again slightly fresh conditions in for the end of the week, and then to the weekend and start of next week, warm conditions return once again, and towards day 10 we start to see more widespread warm conditions, upper air temperatures widely getting towards those double digits, which starts to give more widely mid 20s there so again looking pretty decent pretty warm not completely bone dry not high pressure dominated still a westerly flow but as i said we're more on the warmer side of the jet stream than the colder side like we were through the beginning part of the month and if you finish by looking at the latest ecmwf again warmer air masses in for a time at the moment slightly fresher in towards the weekend and then again we could see those warmer air masses return into early August, some very hot air wafting up from the south. And again, we'll have to keep a very close eye if some of this intense heat gets pushed our way. Definitely trending that way, but we'll have to wait and see if it actually does fully push in. Now to finish, if we look at the latest on some of you, the latest GFS, you see it is very up and down over the next couple of weeks. You can see one spike of heat arriving later this week, then dropping towards the end of the week into the weekend, and then rising again into next week. But because of the uncertainty within the ensembles, there is a lot of up and down, and we're likely to see that getting ironed out near the time. But you can see that there is precipitation later this week. That again is going to be associated with that warmer air, potentially triggering some thunderstorms next week it isn't as warm but temperatures still into the low to mid 20s but a lot drier and then into the towards the first full week of august again looking average to above average more spikes of heat potentially there and you can see that the precipitation is up and down maybe a few more spikes appearing into early august but nothing too major and finally to finish the video if we do start on uh, or finish on the latest ecmwf ensembles look at this very warm indeed again this is a midnight run we just had a look at the midday ecmwf run but even more spikes of heat towards the 30th of july that's pretty insane indeed the 20 degree isotherm moving in that would give temperatures into the mid 30s you can see what i'm saying about these spikes of heat the gfs is a little bit less optimistic for this spike of heat towards the end of july early august but you can see the ecmwf here and its ensembles very much more inclined to show that. You see it's above average for a time later this week, dropping towards average or below average again, and then that big spike again towards the end of July in around seven or eight days time. GFS said not showing it as much, but Eastern Doyle definitely looks on board and we'll have to wait and see how this does evolve. But again, it continues the theme that I've been talking about of spikes of heat over the next week or two. Up and down, nothing too persistent, but one day it could be 30 degrees or low 30s. The next day it could be 20 degrees. We'll have to wait and see how it does play out. We'll have to iron out all those details nearer the time. But do make sure you do stay aware and keep alert of those conditions. It could be, as I said, very, very changeable. And not only with the temperatures, we could also see some big thunderstorms in places as ever with these warmer temperatures. There's more energy in the atmosphere. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for a minute video soon.